Hi Scorpio, welcome to Angel Love 333. We're going to do your January 2022 reading. I hope you're all well, you're healthy, you're safe, and happy new year, depending on when you watch this video. Uh, but with that, let's uh, go over a couple things before we get started. One, uh, there will be an extended reading link below if this reading resonates with you. The second thing I wanted to bring up is that I am now on TikTok and Instagram. If you'd like to follow me, the addresses are in the description box. They're also on my YouTube story. All right, I do post daily messages, so uh, if you like, follow me. Uh, with that, Scorpio, let's just get down to your reading. Oh, let's pull the messages here for Scorpio. January 2022. All right. So we have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Death card. Got your energy there, Scorpio. We have the Judgment card. We have the Page of Wands. All right. The Nine of Cups, really, really nice there. And in the bottom of the deck here, you have the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so I'll call it the signs first. We have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, your energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So we pretty much have all the energies here on the board. Now, um, Some of you, I feel, are making a decision regarding career and finances, okay? Making um, a judgment call, okay? Some of you, I feel, this could be around a love situation, but you have the judgment card and you have the nine of pentacles. So I feel there's something here you've been going back and forth with. You may be... Um, you know, this can be juggling money as well, all right? So this may be around your money stability here. I also see this could be a situation uh, regarding a particular person, all right? I see here you have the Four of Cups, right? So I feel there's some sort of offer here that is being presented, and you may even have multiple offers, okay? But there is something here where you're reluctant, you're hesitant, of whether to put your time and your energy into this situation. And I feel like that's what you're reflecting on. This is what you are trying to make some sort of decision, some sort of judgment call. All right, we're going to clarify. We'll see where that goes. You have the Six of Swords and you have the Page of Wands. What I want to say here is I do see some sort of action being taken that's going to bring you to a really nice place, okay? Um, I feel like you're going to be feeling excited, more motivated. Uh, this can also be communication, okay, communication here. I feel like some of you could be doing some traveling as well. May, uh, may not be everyone, okay. Now, uh, death card and uh, the nine of cups, which is your energy with the death card. I, and what I'm going to say here, there's some sort of new beginning. There's some sort of transformation happening here. That is uh, bringing you uh, some sort of wish or happiness or fulfillment or feeling content. There's something here you're going to be really excited about. I'm just going to say some of you, it could be an offer here, um, some sort of communication. But let's uh, clarify the cards and we'll see where this goes. Thank you, Angels and Spirit, for your guidance. Why is the Nine of Pentacles and the Judgment card here, please? Why is the Nine of Pentacles and the Judgment card here, please? We have the King of Swords. Three of Wands. Four of Cups. There's that Four of Cups again. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Seven of Swords. Okay. 
Okay. Again, I'm picking up some sort of offer here is being presented to you. Okay. You're hesitant though. I see you hesitant. I see you exploring the possibilities, maybe other options, other offers here. This is definitely around stability. So this can be around relationships, love, career here. You have the king of swords. So I feel like you're really trying to gain clarity in a situation. Okay. I see you being very logical, very discerned about this, okay? Definitely some sort of uh, decision here. And I see you reflecting here on your past, past situations, past experiences. Now, you also have here the Seven of Swords, okay? So I get the energy here. This is more about, I feel... Uh, I feel like you're leaving something behind. You have the Six of Swords and you have the Seven of Swords. I feel like this is about you strategizing, leaving something behind. All right. Uh, you may not be, you know, I feel here you may be like a little bit secretive about it. You know, maybe not telling a whole lot of people. But I feel there's something here that you're moving on from. Okay. Something that you're leaving here in the past. And it may be that, you know, there's some sort of new opportunity that's being presented. Now you have, look at that, you have the Ace of Pentacles here. All right. So you may be strategizing, you know, towards your future here, opening up possibilities, whatever's going to bring you here this abundant coin, right, for the future, okay? Or it can signify stability. So we see you definitely trying to make some sort of decision here. What's interesting, you have the Six of Cups, okay? So, you know, again, I feel an energy here of reminiscing about the past, maybe thinking about past memories here, but this also can just be about your peace and joy. And look at that, you have the World card, all right? So some sort of shift, some sort of change. This is also your energy here as well. I do see, you know, this is a change. I feel it's a life change here. Um, you know, whether it's in love, whether it's in career, and it's for your happiness. Why is the uh, Six of Swords and the Page of Wands here, please? Why is the Six of Swords and the Page of Wands here, please? You have the Temperance card, Strong Sagittarius energy. You have the Five of Cups. You have the Ace of Cups, and you have the Star card. And bottom of the deck here, you have the Queen of Cups. Okay, so I feel like you, um, you're you trying to regain balance or you're healing from a past situation. Um, there is an offer here being presented to you, okay? Um, as I said, I feel like there's some sort of communication or some sort of offer that is coming through to you that you're going to feel really happy and very excited about. You have the star and the ace of cups. You've got strong Aquarius energy. So I feel this could be something you've been hoping for, wishing for, things falling into place for you, coming into alignment, right? The, the stars lining up for you. There's some sort of offer here, some sort of offer that I feel is bring, being presented to you, okay? Could be communication. And it definitely feels like a really nice energy. So if you were in conflict in the past, struggled in the past about a situation and it may be that you had to make some sort of decision i see smooth sailing here okay i see smooth sailing here very nice energy let's clarify now now if this is a love situation okay it it may i'm gonna say here you could get communication from somebody here um, that, you know, you may have felt disappointment. You may have felt a loss here. All right. Somebody may be coming back to heal things. For some of you, this could be new love. All right. It doesn't have to be love. It can be uh, any situation here. For some of you, I feel like this is career. Why is um, the death card here and the nine of cups? Why is the death card here and the nine of cups? You have the Hierophant, Strong Taurus energy. There's that Six of Swords again, the Seven of Cups. And you have here the Six of Swords. 
and bottom of the deck here you have the four of wands beautiful so i do see you coming to a place where i'm hearing like you're going to be more at peace i feel you're going to feel more um, fulfilled emotionally all right Now, you have the Hierophant here. Some of you, this could um, be a relationship here that you have mixed emotions about. All right, with the Seven of Cups. Some of you, I feel there could be new options, all right, that um, are coming towards you. And you have the Six of Swords again. So I feel you're going to come out of a place. There's a new beginning here starting for you. And I feel you're going to come out of a place of mixed emotions. I feel like they're saying here, have faith. There's something here very nice because you got the four of wands here, which tells me that something's coming together here. Now, for some of you, it could be moving on from a past situation that caused a lot of disappointment, you know, feeling um, at a loss, feeling disappointed, right? And I see you headed towards something really happy here with the four of wands, telling me that things are going to come together, telling me here too, there could be a relationship, could be a new relationship, like I said, or a, um, a rekindle here, okay, a union here. Let's uh, get some more messages and see what comes out. We're also going to pull, um, for some of you, I do feel this could be somebody here that you already know, right? A reconciliation. I will pull what that person is thinking and feeling about you. And then after that, we'll take it to the extended and we'll look at what they're thinking and feeling, their upcoming actions, love messages, uh, and intentions, and guidance. So let's get some more messages here for Scorpio. What else does Scorpio need to know? Queen of Pentacles, look at that, Ace of Pentacles, I believe we saw the Ace of Pentacles earlier, and you have the Hermit and bottom of the deck, look at that, yeah, hesitation, there's some sort of offer that's coming towards you, and I feel whatever this has to do, it definitely has to be, do with stability, okay, so some of you, this could be financial and money related, right? Uh, four of Wands can be a card of stability as well, a card of structure. Um, some of you, this is love though, okay? So there's some sort of offer that is being presented here. You got the Tower as well, and you have the Ace of Cups. So this is something here you're not expecting, I'm just going to say. This is something here you're not expecting. Some of you, it could be a new love, and you may be still focused on, you know, um, a past situation. Why? Right? That's why you're reflecting on the past trying to make some sort of decision here with the judgment card, right? Other possibilities as well. For some of you, I feel here too, you know, this could be new love coming in for you. Or, I'm sorry, and or a reconciliation. Now you have the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Pentacles, and you have the Hermit. You've got strong Virgo. Definitely see some sort of offer here coming through. Okay, there, there's something here that is being presented to you. It's something that is going to build over the long term. It feels very stable here. You're going to have to use your intuition and your guidance. And what I'm going to say here, some of you, it's a reconciliation with someone. Some, some of you, I feel it's new love because you've got this Ace of Cups here. All right, so there's a little bit of timing with that, I'm going to say. So we're going to look at, um, for those of you who have a past person, we'll look at new love in the extended as well. But what can you tell Scorpio about this past person? What are they thinking or feeling about Scorpio? You have the King of Cups. You have the Ten of Wands. The Emperor. I'm going to pull one more. It's interesting here. And the Two of Pentacles. Okay, bottom of the deck here, you have the Ace of Wands. So this person here, I feel, um, has been somebody in the past. Okay, this may be somebody here that has been on an, it could be an on and off connection here. You have the Two of Pentacles. So um, 
somebody here that this may be an on and off connection or it may just be that this person has been juggling where to put their time and energy they are coming across as the emperor could be an aries all right so this may be somebody who has a little bit of ego right wants to have it their way um but i'm also getting here with the emperor and the king of cups this may be somebody here who struggles emotionally struggles emotionally um you know, to, to show their feelings here. You also have the Ten of Wands. Okay, so they want to release the challenges that have been between the two of you. You know, you have the Ace of Wands here. So I'm going to say here, sometimes I see the Ace of Wands as an apology as well. Um, you know, like a peace offering, a truce here. You have the World card. I feel like this person here... Um, I feel like they want to reach out to you. I feel that they want to release here what is been heavy in this connection or relationship. So Scorpio, I'm going to take this to the extended. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.